Oh my gosh, so apparently something just happened. Anyway, my mom and dad is not over here. They're saying an EMT is coming. Somebody got ran into. Somebody got sent in too fast. Yeah. Somebody was too up. fast? Oh my god. He got from under him and, and he went and slammed onto the rock. What's up guys? Good morning. Today we are here just in the beautiful island of St. Martin. Check it out. Man, oh man, it is so beautiful out there. I would go out there on the balcony and show you, but uh, this morning, <laughs> there is uh, something in front of our door. They put a note, uh, they put a note in our room last night, and it says, you ready to learn those fun, so we only need to take them on time. Due to environmental regulations, balconies should only be washed while we're in port, therefore we have scheduled the cleaning tomorrow, 10, 11, while we are in St. Martin, and you're enjoying your time of travel between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. Don't worry, the work won't take about 10 to 15 minutes. There you go. So that's what they're doing outside right now, so they're washing our balcony. <laughs> so we're not able to go out there, but that's okay. I'm gonna head upstairs in just a minute and uh, check it out now. For me, things are going to be a little bit crazy this morning. So, some of the group is up on Lido having breakfast, and others of the group are down in the Meridian restaurant trying out the new Port Day Express breakfast. So I'm gonna head down there hopefully and show you the menu and what everybody got from that uh, so you guys can kind of get a feel for how that is. The, what Carnival says is it's supposed to take 30 minutes or less, I believe. You're in and out in 30 minutes, I believe is what it is. Um, so we'll definitely head down and check that out and see about all the fun that they had there, as well as everybody up on Lido Deck. Then after that, we're gonna be heading out into beautiful St. Martin. We are doing the Flying Dutchman today. That is the zip line, the steepest zip line in the world. It is right here in St. Martin. You, they actually strap you and you fly all the way down the mountain. We're doing that, as well as some other zip lines up there on the mountains. And then we're heading over to Maho Beach, Airplane Beach. If you don't know what Maho Beach is, it's Airplane Beach, the one with the planes land right there at the beach we're heading over there and meeting up a bunch of the rest of the group for some fun in the sun and I just can't wait for you guys so strap in your vlog belts let's get this day rolling let's head up top see who's awake all right let's see let's see we want to go to 10, Ten. Car in. Car in. here we are oh look at that that was so fast it's busy up here this morning there they are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A few moments later. All right. So there was stop number one for debrief. Now to the dining room for stop number two. Okay. Let's see where everybody is at. Good morning. Good morning. And debrief number two is gone. Let's come out here on Ocean Plaza. See what's going on. All right. Here is beautiful Ocean Plaza. Let's step outside for a minute. You guys can see beautiful uh, St. Martin. Wow. It's great to be back. I think I'm gonna head up top to the top deck and uh, just see what we can see up there. Uh, we do have to meet in about 20 minutes for our excursion. I don't know where yet, but uh, we will find out. Oh, wait a minute, maybe there's Mike right there. About to let us know where we're gonna be. Live right through here. Hey, look, Whoa. that was made for me. Here's the pixels one more time. I told you guys before, but I really do just love this area of the ship. Uh, I love what they've done with it. The double-decker promenades and everything. It is uh, spectacular. Oh, wow, look at the dreamscape this morning. Well, one of them, beautiful. I love that. Oh my goodness, look what it is. It's the towel animal explosion. We got, wow, they got monkeys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. Look, they got a whole octopus and a dog house. Oh my goodness. That is too funny. Beautiful, 
gorgeous St. Martin, guys. Look at how beautiful this is. It really is my favorite island um, for many reasons. I, I love the, the color of the water. I love the mountains and just the, the shape of the mountains and the valleys and how it extends back. It's like so mysterious here. I really do uh, love this island. It is my favorite. I wish I could get back here more often. Yes, I'll go down. I have to like pack up some more things. I have to get the GoPro ready and um, get my ID and the short excursion tickets and that kind of thing. I actually have to find out where the heck we're meeting at. <laughs> Um, and then I will be heading down and we'll be taking our excursion. Like I said, we are doing the Flying Dutchman and Maho Beach combo. So we'll do some zip lining and then we're gonna do some beach relaxing. And a bunch of the group is meeting us over there at the beach. I spoke with them in the meet and greet and they informed me of so. Okay, we gotta go like right now. Good morning. I gotta run, like right now. Ultimate Adrenaline Amaho. Uh, so you guys, you know, it's up, up in the front, the guys with the green shirts or the purple shirts, okay? Thank you. Everybody made it. We're getting on the bus right now. It was close. <laughs> it was close, I'm not gonna lie, but we made it. Uh, so I guess zip lining in St. Martin, here we come. doing all right my name is King David I am an alcoholic <laughs> I will be a driver and your guide this morning right after the hurricane Irma. Enjoy your vacation and go back home safe. On this surfing board you will see the schedule of the flights when they land it. Right side we have the Sunset Beach Valley. Thank you. So guys, we're here at Maho Beach. We're in a little bit of a predicament right now. For some reason, they dropped us off here first. And they gave us an hour and a half, which I think is really silly. Like Carnival, what are you doing? Like, an hour and a half, at the and it's, it's 10.30 now. All the big planes don't even start <laughs> landing until 12. It's like you're really not even getting the Maho Beach experience. Like there's just some inter-island planes landing right now. And then we're gonna go do the zip line. And show them that we're all, all dressed for the zip line. Yeah, yeah, everybody's got tennis shoes. shoes on, and <laughs> socks, and t-shirts. Like nobody's ready to... Our tour was reversed, nobody was told ahead of time. Yeah, nobody was told ahead of time. They wouldn't, I tried, they could not give me an answer. And we have other people supposed to be joining us over here on Maho Beach. No communication. At 12. As our tour leaves. Tour. Yeah, as our tour leaves. Uh, so we gotta figure out a game plan. We gotta figure out what we're doing here. So without, uh, without sounding too complainy-ish, I do just want to uh, uh, let my frustrations be known. Um, we are not happy at all right now with this tour. At all. Uh, there are no planes. We just looked at the plane schedule. There's no planes landing until 12:30. That's when the big planes start landing, and that's when we want to. That's when they want us to leave. So like, the literally, what is the name of the tour? The tour is um, Ultimate, Ultimate Adrenaline. Adrenaline Combo and Airplane Watching. Airplane Watching. <laughs> How are we gonna watch airplanes? <laughs> And as we're pulling away on the tour bus. Yeah, as we're pulling away on the tour bus. Like, I just don't understand why they would have brought us here first. Like, that just makes no sense. But then, on top of that, like, bring us here when there are no planes landing. Like, that literally defeats the whole right. purpose of the tour. You know? So, 
I will definitely be uh, visiting guest services later, just letting them know that this was not satisfactory. And that's what I would recommend you guys do, is any time that you take a tour through Carnival, if it is not the way that it was advertised, you guys know we've had that happen before with Balmoral Island, it was not the way it was advertised. Let them know because they send guys out to do these tours, but they only send them, they don't send them out every cruise, you know? So things can change, uh, policies can get slack. So you have to let them know, that way everybody's always the most up to date. Uh, I guess I will go ahead and show you the, the menu here for the Sunset Bar and Grill. It is a rather large one. Um, I don't know if we need to order here, or like, are they gonna have food over there? Like, right? Like, how do we know? Because I thought we were coming here for lunch after. Right. Like, that's what I had planned. Is like lunch right. after the zip so line now it's here. Like we're gonna be hungry up on the zip line because right. We're here. So I don't know what we should do. See, that's what I mean. The whole thing. <laughs> and when like we can't find our tour guide, like he's just <laughs> left us and like. Just not an enjoyable experience so far, unfortunately. The island of St. Martin is beautiful. It's, it's pretty. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. island. Yeah. I mean, welcome to St. Martin, guys. <laughs> Sorry this is your first encounter with it, but it's a beautiful <laughs> island. Um, we're just having some frustrations with the tour right now, that's all. some food here at the Sunset Barn Grill. That's what we were just saying. It's nothing on these guys here. They are obviously providing great service to us, uh, as always. So I would still highly recommend you come check it out. And Maho Beach is beautiful. Uh, the only reason we're not going down to the beach is because we don't want to get all sandy and salty and then try and put tennis shoes back on and head up to the zip line and we'd be all chafed and everything. It just, it would not be an enjoyable experience at all. Um, but here is what we got. So we ended up getting, this is the non-stop on the menu. So this is basically pepperoni pizza and then some french fries and then we got some drinks for the table here. Uh, the food is super, super yummy here. As Mama Hogan just described, it is a uh, wood-fired pizza. So it has like an authentic flavor to it. It's really, really yummy. We're gonna dig in and then uh, it'll be time to get back on this daggone bus <laughs> yeah. and go do our zip line sure. excursion like we should have already done before we came here. <laughs> What'd you guys think? How was that food? It was good. It was pizza good. was yummy, right? Yeah, so I would suggest uh, coming up here to Sunset Bar and Grill uh, right here at Maho Beach. They do have some amazing food available for you. It's really, really yummy. Like I said, the pizza is wood fired. Uh, there's also got guac, they've got uh, quesadillas, a whole bunch of yummy food. So definitely come up here and check it out. We're going to head back to our bus now, and it's time to go flying. Well, 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 look who showed up. How are you guys? How are you? <laughs> you finally made it over here, huh? I did finally make it over here. Look at this. Look at the view Thomas got. My goodness, you got a perfect spot, buddy. That excursion out there, we'll definitely have to do that next time. Look at them. They got like noodle fights going on out there or something. Yeah. All right, Maho Beach. Hopefully, we'll be back today. If not, <sighs> I love you. So, look how clear it is, Dad. Look at this. Look at how clear. Wow. Just such a beautiful beach here. So we're here, we've just arrived at the Rainforest Adventures. Uh, base camp if you want to call it. We're down here at the bottom. Way up there is where we're gonna go zip lining. Now apparently um, we can take our bags with us and they have like some kind of pouch on the bottom. I think that's pretty cool if that's true. <laughs> if not we're gonna be renting a locker and uh, you know storing all of our bags in, the, in that. Here's some of the instructions so if you do want to know you know kind of what to expect when you get here what's okay what's not okay you can read that. There it is for you. Okay, so apparently there isn't a pouch. Apparently we got a rent a locker, so it's $5, I'm guessing per locker. So I wanna we see how, how yeah, we don't know how big they are. Hold on, hold on, two seconds. We did have to rent a locker, but it was very, uh, it wasn't a very spacious locker, but it fit all of our bags. It did. We got it to fit all of our bags. We had what, one, two, three, four bags. So we're going up right now, we're gonna take the, oh, here it comes right now. 
Here it comes, you guys ready? Yeah, ready. All right, guys, bring us up and have a seat. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. We're going up. I'm gonna put the wrist strap on now. Yeah. Wow, look at it. I love the butterflies. You know, that's the first thing that we ever did when we came to St. Martin, and I hated it. Right. We went to we went to the butterfly farm. <laughs> we went to the butterfly farm. I was like seven, I think. It was less than enjoyable for a young, hyper, energetic, seven-year-old Josh. <laughs> Not the funnest thing I've ever done. Here we are. Prepare to unload. Check for loose clothing and equipment. Wow, I love your shirt. <laughs> Wherever did you get such a thing? <laughs> Hello. I now feel, I now know what it feels like to wear a bra every day. I've got like, Four chest straps on right now. I feel very supported. Still not a bra. Apparently something just happened. Anyway, my mom and dad is not over here. They're saying an EMT is coming. Somebody got ran into. Somebody got sent in too fast. Yeah. Somebody was too up. fast. Dang. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm nervous now. Well, they're not over here. It has to be. It has to be my mom or my dad. Yeah. Now we're in the worry of we don't. They, they were the ones. They were the next the, ones. Yeah. Oh. So we see my mom and my dad, they're right there, but my dad's like hunched over. So... We're not sure if they're the ones that got ran into or not, but they're both standing right there on that platform. Can you zoom in with that thing? I can, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna get anything. Let's see. There they are, you see them? So there's mom with the wow shirt. And dad's standing right right beside her. No, that's not my dad. Yeah, that's not him. That's not my dad. In the blue shirt, that's not my dad. Yeah, because that's that's a tank top, that, the, the, uh, that guy. Unless he's rolled his shirt up. You okay? The other guy in hot before I was off the line. He didn't do it, he's been over here with us the whole time. The one over there. Oh. He sent him in hot before I was off the line. I was on trap and I tried to get out of the way uh, and he hit me. In. It's a scratch. Oh. He hit there. No, it's not. You're gonna need stitches, Dad. That's wide open. I ain't gonna do stitches. So it was in fact Dad. He uh somebody came and they were sending him too fast and he slammed slammed into him. They got his elbow good. <laughs> basically, basically Oh! Something just bit me. That's what took us so long though, I was holding direct pressure. They uh they knocked his feet out from under him and, and he went and slammed onto the rocks. Let me see. Warning, if you don't want to see blood, just skip 15 seconds. Let me see. Oh man. And anything on your leg? Yeah, you got scraped up on your legs. It hit my hip right here, but I'm fine. See? You'll be sore tomorrow. Well, what? Yeah, the reason I was laying there, 
two people going. The reason I was laying there because that sharp rock hit into my hip bone. Oh. Mm. And I was laying there a minute going, oh crap, it hurts. He wasn't sure if he's going to get up. Oh my God. Sir. He stepped down. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Ah! Dad, so are you okay? Yeah, I need a band-aid and ten thousand dollars. I'll be fine. All right, we can. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. All right, now we're going to the big boy. <laughs> Up there. So we're going to take a quick pause on the zip excursion. Uh, the rain is getting ready to come pretty bad here. So we're gonna take a uh, pause, so they're gonna let us wait inside because that would not be very fun zipping down in the rain. So this is actually hurting him bad enough, his hip, uh, where they knocked him out earlier, that he's actually not even gonna be able to ride it. So we will definitely be visiting guest services when we get back on board um, because this was negligence of the company here. This was nothing he did. They just didn't unstrap him. They were sending people before he was unstrapped. So uh, now he's not even able to enjoy it. So I'm sorry, Dad. I'm gonna make sure that he gets back and he's gonna actually take the sky chair down so he can straighten, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch, it out, okay? stretch out his leg as opposed to sitting. These, it's like in a cup basket and it would it would and, further hurt his and where, it, where that thing would come up on it is right there at that hip bone mm -hmm. right there i'm okay, okay. I got it. all right Go so on. we're gonna ride it but he's gonna take the sky i'm sorry dad maybe next time buddy hey whatever <sighs> so unfortunate Oh my goodness. Here we go. What? Change this battery right here before it dies, and we gotta check on dad and make sure he's good. Just two seconds. So I do have to say that they are very innovative here. So they have like these, look, like you just scan your wristband, and poof, there's photos of me. And like that's how like we would check in for all the zip lines and everything. It's like a chip in this wristband, and you just like scan it, and boom, you're there. That's cool. Like it automatically checks you in, and like adds the photos that they took to you and everything, yeah. It's awesome. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, back to the ship. 
It smells like lemon on here. <laughs> I think it's clean. Last time that we're gonna see the ship like this, but I had to get it. It's pouring the rain again. St. Martin, why? I love you. Why do you treat me like this? Look, my shoes are soaked. My face is soaked. My camera is soaked. Everything. <laughs> Everything is soaked. And we didn't even go to the beach today. No. Okay, last look here, because if I keep this camera out any longer, it is going to be ruined. Love you lots, Carnival Horizon. We're back on board. Next Ford time. Stop by because of dad's injuries. See the medical. Uh, so he is down there. Hello. Guess why I bite a monkey. You a bought a monkey? Mike, we're getting ready to do our interview now. Changed up for Halloween tonight. Ah! Here you come. One of the two. It's gonna happen.